guys and welcome to DTW Tutorials. Welcome. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be looking at how to calculate the mean, media, and mode of group data. Okay, so we have a question here. All right, it says um, the table gives the distribution of ages of students in an institution. Find the mean, media, and mode. Okay, so this is the table. All right, and this um, in statistics is called the class intervals. You can see here. These are the class intervals and the formula to find your mean using the class mark method. There are two methods. You can use assume mean method. That's a different formula. I'm going to treat that um, later on. Okay, I'll leave a um, link um, like a playlist on statistics. I'll, I'll, I'll leave the link in the video description box of this video. So you see everything on the statistics. We're going to be doing, you know, the OGIV curve, quarter, interquarter range and all that. I would drop them in the list called statistics. I'm, li I'm leaving it in the video description box of this video and every other information you need down here, I would leave in the video description box of this video and all other resources. Also, please subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up and also share this video. So the formula, the major formula to find our mean is this the summation of f of x and, or divided by the summation of the frequency. So when you're given something like this, you need to also do your own table, all right? So you have your class interval here, you put them here. These uh, values down here, they are the frequencies of each class intervals. Okay, we have five class intervals here, all right? So how do you get your x? Okay, your x is the midpoint of the class interval. So you get your x by doing what? Saying 16 plus 18 divided by 2, you're going to get this, okay? Um, 19 plus 21, that's uh, 19, 21, that's 0, carry 1, 4, that's 40 divided by 2, you get a 20. Can you see that? When you do each, you get your x to this point, all right? Then the next thing to do is you do your f of x. So you multiply this, this times this is this, this times this is this, this times this, and down here, and um, the summation of all this is this, and the summation of your frequency is this, okay? So to get your mean, you just simply do this. This is um, the summation of um, f, and this is summation of f of x. So that will give us 2712 divided by 120. And when you punch in your calculator, you should get a 22. Point six, so that's your mean, okay? And um, the unit is in what in years, all right? Because you know, yes, you have to put your unit of what measurement. It could be years, it could be kilogram, it could be weight, it could be pounds, whichever unit of measurement, okay? So this is how you get the mean. So let's quickly go to our median. How do we get the median? Okay, so to get our median here, this is the formula to get the median. All right, where you have your LM is the lower class boundary of the median class. You have, you have your CFB, that's the cumulative frequency of the class before the median class. Then F of M, the frequency of the median class. Then C is a class width of the median class and N is the total frequency. So we're going to look at how we're going to get this here. So using the same example. So now for your median class, you can see for the mean, you had to get x, then f of x. But for your median, you don't need to get x and f of x from our formula. Our median class, we need to know our f, which is very compulsory, okay? And also our cumulative frequency, which is ff, uh, uh, cf. I just uh, abbreviated this. This is cumulative frequency. Now, how do you get your cumulative frequency? I'm going to quickly uh, tell you this here. So you do this. You're looking at your frequency here, the first value, you put the first value also on your cumulative frequency as what, 18. Okay, when you do that, then you say 30 plus 18, it gives you 48. Are you saying that? You write down 48, you go down and you say 35 plus 48, it gives you 83. You go again and you say 20, uh, 24 plus 83, it gives you 107. And then finally you do 13 plus 107, it gives you 120. All you have to notice when finding your cumulative frequency, the last value, the last value you have here should be equal to your total frequency. You can see this is equal. 
okay that's that tells you that you have done the right thing okay now that is that so now how do you get your class boundary because you we also need to know this all right so to get your class boundary you have to work with your class interval first of all you need to know the gap to know um, the, the gap value okay you check for the first class interval all right the low the um the upper you know this in class uh, class interval this is the upper this is the lower class interval this is the upper class interval so you use the upper class interval of the first class interval and you subtract it from the second class intervals lower class but um, limit i mean okay so that would be um, 19 minus 18 that would give us a one then you divide that one by two and that will give us what 0.5 so we're going to use this 0.5 okay now to get our class boundaries to use this 0.5 to get each of our class boundaries we do what we do 16 for the first class uh, boundary we do 16 for the lower uh, class limit we do 16 minus 0.5 and that will give us 15.5 then for the upper class uh, limit we do what 18 plus 0.5 and that will give us what 18.5 so that's what you do throughout um, to get your class boundary for each of the class interval you can see here for this uh, second class interval we do 19 minus 0.5 it gives us 18.5 here we do 21 plus 0.5 it gives us what 21.5 so first of all you find your gap when you find your gap it is you you say 19 minus 18 which will give you one divide by two this is your gap value then your gap value you add it you subtract it from uh, you subtract uh, 0.5 from the lower class limit and also add 0.5 to the what upper class limit and that's how you get this you can see here when you subtract 0.5 you get 21.5 you add 0.5 you get what 24.5 and so on to the last one here yeah minus 0.5 you get this plus you get this okay so that's how you get you know you have to have this table all right so it's easy for you to quickly plug in your values now coming to plugging our values to get our median now here we have what is our lower uh, to get first of all the low you know this lm is lower class boundary of the median class to get our median class we have to find n divided by two Okay, where n is the total frequency divided by 2. And what's the total frequency here is what? 120 divided by 2. So we get what? 60. So 60 is our median what, class. So we now go, okay, to get, uh, this is the median class. All right, all right. So we now go to accumulative frequency table. Okay, not the frequency not the frequency to the cumulative frequency table that we have done we find where 60 we fit in 60 we fit in here right this is 48 but 60 is greater than 48 so 60 would be here all right so our class interval for our median class this is our median class okay our class interval for our median class is what 24 to uh, 22 to what 24 this is our median uh, class interval so from here we can now start getting our values easily so here it says where um, lm is the lower class boundary of the median class so this is our median class right we're looking at this and what's the lower class boundary of the median class is what 21.5 so lm is 21.5 this is the lower class boundary this is the upper class boundary okay then our cumulative frequency of the class before the median class now this is a uh, this is the median class so the cumulative frequency of the class before the median class is what 48 can you see this cumulative frequency of the class before the median class this is a median class so it is 48 so our value for this is what 48 then fm is the frequency of the median class what's the frequency of the median class is what 35 so equal to what 35 then our class width get our class width of the median class you look at the median class you look at the class boundary it is what 24 the upper class boundary minus the lower class boundary so we have here 
24.5 minus 21.5. And what would that give us? That would give us a 3. So that's our class width. And our total frequency we've gotten from here has what? 120. So we have all our values now. So let us plug everything in. Okay, so here we have LM. What is LM? 21.5 plus in parentheses N over 2. That's 120 over 2 minus CB is 48 divided by FM is what? 35 and C out here is what? 3. So here, um, let me quickly take this here. So we have here 21.5 plus, this is 60 minus 48 over 35, then 3. Okay, so this will give us uh, 21.5. Uh, plus uh, once we punch in our calculator here everything here this minus this is 12 12 divided by 35 times 3 would give us like a 1.0285 and when we add this together we're going to have a 22.2 two significant figures when working in statistics always do two significant figures okay so we have uh, um, that's to two decimal places i mean so we have 2.22.5 two years so this is our median okay i hope i've explained this very well all right so let's go on to our mode now sorry that's my that's my daughter okay so now to get the mode this is the formula for our mode where we have um, lm is the lower class boundary of the mother class and delta one is the difference between the frequency of the mother class and the class before it, delta two the frequency between the um, between the difference between the frequency of the mother class and the class after it and C is the class width of the mother class. Okay, so now in mother class, we don't need our cumulative frequency. That's your CF that we did for our median class. Okay, so all we need is our class interval, the frequency, and the class boundary. Okay, so this is quite easy for the mode. All right, so now let's try to solve. Before you start getting your values, you need to know the modal class, just like the way we identify the median class by dividing the total frequency over two. To know the modal class in your table here, it is um, the, the, class, the inter class interval with the highest frequency, and this is the highest frequency on our frequency table 35. So we still have, we have a class interval of 22, to 24 so that's our modal class so our modal class is 22 to 24 all right so from here now it's easy for us to get our lower class boundary of the modal class which is what 21.5 that's lm 21.5 our uh, delta one that's the difference between um, the frequency of the modal class this is the frequency of the modal class and the class before it's the class before is 30 so that's 35 minus 30, which will give us five. Then delta two, uh, that's delta one. Delta two is frequency, difference between frequency of the mother class, which is 35, okay, minus the class after it, which is what, 24. So that will give us 11. And what's our class width? Our class width is the difference. Well, using, we use our class boundary, is the difference between this and this. So that's 24.5 minus 21.5 and that would give us what three so we can now put this in our formula here so we have 21.5 plus in parentheses delta one is five over five which is also a delta one plus 11 delta two close the parentheses our class width or class size sometimes in some um, textbook you see that's h okay instead of c is as h okay so we have three here so what do we have here so that we have 21.5 plus this is uh let's say we multiply this so we have 15 over 16 right so 21.5 plus 15 over 16 uh, 15 over 16 you know use your calculator we're going to get uh, 22.437 but as i said it's always good in statistics you use two decimal places so our final answer will be 22.44 Remember our unit is what? Yes. Okay. So this is how you find your mean, median, and mode of a group data. Thank you for staying tuned. 
to DTW Tutorials. And also don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ for he is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life. He's the one who's going to lead us to heaven at last and then give us also that heaven on earth here. So he is waiting for you. All you need to do is accept him as your personal Lord and Savior. You know, repent from every wrongdoings and he will take over everything from you and give you that joy, peace, that happiness that you desire truly. All right, so thank you and see you in our next video. Please don't forget to subscribe, share and like this video. Thank you.